to uh, the first uh, new member Q&A for June 2024. Uh, this is something that we've been doing uh, for about a year and a half now. My name is Betsy Coe, and I've been on Wikitree about five years at this point. Uh, I'm based in Chicago, and I was I got very serious about genealogy in 2015, uh, started uh, started building a tree on Ancestry, and then uh, eventually uh, found Wikitree through a Google search. Um, I was looking up one of my ancestors, and I was um, I was really impressed that the profile had research notes that um, laid out the possibilities for you know if if we find this piece of, can confirm this, then we can come. To this conclusion and uh, so that was enough to entice me to join and uh, I've gotten deeper and deeper ever since. Um, I, uh, I am involved in a number of geographical projects, uh, England, Wales, Scotland, Canada, where my personal ancestry comes from, uh, also a coordinator of the new Taiwan project um, for my father's side and I help run events and uh, serve as a mentor um, with mm -hmm. me. Uh, I don't know where where is he, he is on your screen, but with the beautiful French painting behind him, I have Murray Maloney, who's my co-host. Uh, Murray, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi. Everybody hear me okay? Just nod mm -hmm. your head. Okay. Uh, my name is Murray Maloney, and I am a retired uh, author editor. And uh, and I just plunk around on Wikitree doing all kinds of stuff. Um, I help fill in other people's profiles and go gather um, sources and fill them in a little bit. And uh, I play with uh, with um, DNA. And I also um, I also help a couple of people with the, doing documentation for their um, for their software that runs. And we've got three Dorises now. Wow. Um, and uh, what else can I tell you? And I and I try to help out Betsy uh, on the new members Q and A because uh, because I was a, Q a new member once, and I remember how weird and difficult it was to get started. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Um, you know, I I want to emphasize too that when I first joined WikiTree, I felt like. I had walked into this mammoth castle and I did not dare leave the entryway because I thought if I, if I just go down this hallway, I'm never going to find my way back. Um, but, but people were just so, um, so helpful. Um, you know, I always found somebody to answer my question and um, I, I did a few little challenges here and there um, eventually found, found my niche and um, you know, so I, I believe that all of you, you know, if you're very new in your Wikitree journey, you can you can reach the same level of confidence. There is a steep learning curve yeah. because it's a wiki, it's a wiki. So there's some non-intuitive coding code for the profiles. So um, and we do have some very new members. Uh, today, I, I'd like to, you know, the, the level of these sessions um, really ranges. Um, sometimes we do, there's no such thing as too basic a question. Absolutely not. Um, and sometimes we get a little more intermediate. Um, so I, I'd love to have some questions from people who are brand new. Uh, say, you know, you've joined within the last two months. Maybe you have 20 profiles to your name. Um, and then we can do some more intermediate things after that. And I will also say, you're probably going to hear me and Murray talk about something called the Wikitree browser extension. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a free, yes, Anne is applauding. It's a wonderful thing. Free extension um, that you can add to your your whatever browser extension you use. Uh, I use Chrome. You can use the extension on Safari as well. Um, and it will really soup up your Wikitree experience and allow you to do a lot of fancy things. It will change the way your profile looks. Um, I have disabled that right now. 
so that for the people who are brand new, um, you're going to see on the screen, on my screen, what you should see on your screen. I, I want it to match. And then maybe later in the session, um, or maybe Murray, you've kept yours on, right? So I do. I have kept yeah. it on. Yeah. So maybe you can see the contrast when Murray screen shares. So yes. And I'm going to post the URL to the, the Wikitree browser extension in yes. just a moment. Yeah. If you're curious about uh, the Wikitree browser extension, um, the page that Murray's posting will give you all the instructions right from like, how do I get it? You know, and it walks you through, um, you know, all step by step. So who's, who's, let's see, I, I, I am going to call. Okay, Bajan, Bajan is new. Um, welcome. And what questions do you have for us? Uh, yes, uh, I have this question. When I add a profile of one of my uh, family member, when I go to click on the edit data, and uh, there is a drop down uh, for the language, and through the language, I cannot find any language called Farsi in it. Mm. Uh, I'm surprised that it has so many languages listed there. Uh, why is there is no such thing as Persian or Farsi? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I meant to do a little exploration after I answered your message last night because I, I saw that you have Iranian roots and um, we yeah. have a new global project. And I, I'm, I know the idea is that every country will have a project. Um, but whether all the projects have leadership or not, well, maybe you want to take over <laughs> the Iran project. But let's that's a good place to start. I'm going to share my screen and let's look at the Iran project. Um, and I can ask um, the person who heads up the global project about Farsi. And, and um, can, I, can I just add something about that? Um, Absolutely. So it, it, in that data area where, where the language selection is, um, that's intended to help with the choice of location and how, how the location is going to be written. Um, and currently, um, they're working on the locations database, and, and I, I don't know how long it's going to take. Once they're done, then, then they, should be able, they should have representations of um, every country in the world, every, every location in the world, and uh -huh. in multiple languages, and and I I um, I haven't heard anybody mention Farsi specifically, but I will uh, mention it in the um, among the developers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this is the global project page, um, and let me let me copy this and put it in the chat. Um, let's see, There's a lot going on on my screen. Are you are you okay, Anne? Yeah, yeah. Oh. St uh, st <laughs> Stephen just said Pig Latin. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead, Betsy, and I'll get the URL. Okay, I already did it. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so here's the global project. Uh, the, there's a home page that describes the mission, the overall mission. And then this tab up here will take you to a comprehensive list. We do have, oh, I see. The, the worldwide projects, these are projects that um, the um, country, they, they share, there are more than one country. There's more than one country involved. If I go to the country project, okay. And fortunately, we can search by letter. Oh, and they, not there yet. Yep, yep. So the fact that it's not um, bolded means that it's no one has stepped forward to lead it yet. But we would love to have someone um, to to be working on that. Um, hint, hint. <laughs> when you're ready, Bijan, um, could we do? Could we look at one of your profiles if you'd be willing? Sure, by any means. You, you, I, if you have a way of accessing it, you could. Yes. Um, if you would, would you please put uh, your Wikitree ID in the chat? 
Okay, let me see. Okay, and and let me explain to everybody. Um, up at so so, how do I find my WikiTree ID? At yes, the that's top, at the top of any page on WikiTree, you're going to see these menus on the top right, and you see it's my WikiTree Co Thirty One. Ding ding, that's my ah. ID. So, and on your screen, it will be your ID. So these menus are really, uh, they're really your paths to where you want to go on Wikitree. Okay, would it be um, my Wikitree? Would it be my first name and my last name, Bijan Kamrava? It says it's, ID. It's, like, it's Kamrava are, one. Okay. Kamrava one. Yeah, okay, yes. Kamrava dash one. Okay. Oh, you have one of those lucky first, the number one, that means you're the first one uh, to have that. So um, now this is also useful to know if you have the profile ID, you can go into this box, top of any page and uh -huh. type in Come the around. ID. And there you are. Oh, oh Walt Disney Company. Oh, yeah. wow. Lucky. Yeah. And yeah. you're two weeks into your wiki tree uh, journey. So um, that's wonderful. So I and mean, you've already done 99 contributions. Um, yeah, that's that's great. Do mm -hmm. you uh, are there any of your profiles that you want us to look at because you're wondering about you you said you had some some issues with navigation and editing. Yeah. I um, it's when I try to set up a profile, I find it very odd when I enter the very first time uh, the name, family name, and that sort of things. Then I click next to continue to create a profile. I notice that if I click next again, I lose that profile completely. So what I do when I click next, then I use backspace, you know, back to go back. And then I go forward, then lo and behold, then it creates the profile for me. So it's kind of redundant. I don't know how I could get over it. Uh, because initially when I was trying to set up my father, for example, I had yeah. to do it at least several times until I figure out if I trick it by go back and go forward, then I could uh, save that uh, profile. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I've never had that experience. Me, I mean, me I could demonstrate it uh, if you want. I don't want to take up other people's time, but no. later no. on. No, we're we're um it's so okay. um Bijan, I'm gonna make you a co-host so that you can share share the screen, your screen. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna stop sharing and Let's let's take a look. Can you see what to do, Bijan? Oh, you want me to uh, yeah, yeah, share, share, your screen. share my screen? I'm, yeah, I'm so I, sorry. I, 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 can, yeah. okay. <laughs> I thought you were uh, trying to send me some. Uh, All right. Okay. Uh, if I go to my profile here and uh, so share the screen. Hold on. Is that under the more? Down, share at, the bottom, screen. down okay. at the bottom, you should see a button that's green that says share screen. Share screen. Yes, I also share the system audio. Okay. And the window, uh, because I have two windows, I want to know which window. Uh, 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 oh, I can you see the screen that, that you want to share? Yeah, I I, I click on go. it. Okay. Do you see? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you see my screen? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No, you need, Very you... good. So, yeah. Do I have to maximize it? 
Uh, what? No, go back. So it was it was nice and big before, just a second ago. Okay. There Thank we you. go. Okay. Okay. So, uh, for example, I the way I do it, I I I go start on um, family tree or something like that. Uh -huh. Then from here, then I know, for example, if I want to add uh, any member here to my mom or my dad or my brother or sister or something like that. Uh, so if I just pick up something uh, here, I've added my siblings. I just want to, uh, for example, this is my sister. Let me see. Is she living though? Yes. Okay. She okay. is. Uh, here it says like adding spouse. Okay. okay. Now if I click on adding spouse. Yes. If I click here, then it says create a new profile. Am I doing it correctly here? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. So I continue. So then it asks me to uh, name the person. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to be here fast. So, so I say raw uh first name at the and the last name tangent and and let me just say for everybody that really at this stage the only thing that's really the you you can't change easily is what what bijan just entered the the last name at birth that that becomes the profile ID. And so, um, but anything else, if you want to change Rob to Robert or add a middle name or change, it's, you can do that very easily. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah I thought I have to answer all of them. So even now his name is, maybe I should say it's a Robert. <laughs> I know I, I would call him Rob. <laughs> uh, uh, shall I say Rob as a preferred name? You could do that. Yeah. yeah okay. You misspelled Robert. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, Sorry, we all we all hate yeah, being okay, yeah, was, typing. Okay, <laughs> date of birth. You know, I, I just don't have it. But uh, let's. I just want to. Some of things are mandatory. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. You need to have. Um, you need to have names, and you need to have a, a birth and death date. Okay, let's say oh, Chicago. Chicago. Nice. Uh, so I have to say Chicago, Chicago, or uh, Illinois, yeah. or so Illinois. Yeah. Look, look in the pull down menu. Um, so the format for places in the United States would be the place, the county, the state, and then United States. Yeah. So that first entry is what you want. Just um, yeah. move your mouse yeah. down. Just click on it. Yep. Okay. I, I, I don't know that his county or something like that. Shall I just? No, Chicago Under is in Cook Chicago. County. Yeah. Huh? Chicago is in Cook County. I know because okay. I live in Chicago. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, this uh, okay. Um, now, uh, date of birth, if you just give me a little bit. Living. Uh, so I, I have to put the date of birth uh, blank if it's living. Right. Uh, yeah. Can I add those things later or I have to enter the... Well, date of birth? so this, this brings us into a little uh, important mm -hmm. side conversation about living people. Is that um, on April 1st, uh, Wikitree uh, introduced some, some fine tuning of its policies for living people. So we don't want to create a profile for living people unless they say it's okay. So, so what you would need to do is enter his email and then he'll receive an email from Wikitree saying, you know, would, is okay. it okay to create okay. the profile? So, so uh, the you know? email address is here. So if I put this one for his email. Okay. And, and then, something. Uh, um, oh, you don't. You don't need to. Uh, oh, I. No, I don't have to put comment. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea to give a comment to the person who's receiving the invitation, so they know that. You know, you actually cared about them enough to give them a comment. Yeah. Um, and well, um, 
Murray, I'll, I'll let you watch the screen. I'm going to put up the, the help page about invitation to living people. Sure. Yes. And, and here is the one that... Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, here I think this is where the things happen. When I say click uh, continue, okay, now it says I cannot find or something like that. If I said no, 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 this no, no, none match. of these is the match. Yeah. Then, mm -hmm. I, then I think I lose everything. No, nope, none of these is the match. Just, just go ahead and click that. You sure? Because that, that, yeah. that's what yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Do. No, 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 yeah. don't go back. <laughs> then it will work. None of these okay. is the match. Okay, so if I click here, oh, okay. Uh, believe me, you, I have done this so many times. Now I guess it's uh, afraid of you and, and it works. Yeah, but uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Don't worry, we all went through that. <laughs> yeah. yeah but before it was just uh, uh, coming out and i and i said okay forget it i go back and then i go forward then i get this screen so now it, it's uh working uh as it's supposed to. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to work they continue again if you don't know the marriage stuff too then it creates the profile no, I, I do, but uh, I have to pull it up because it, for each one, it takes me like half an hour, you know, to I go through all the details and uh, and I try to be as complete as possible. Good. Yes. Well, and and good. know that you can always go back later, though. You can yes. always go back and add additional information. Edit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah. Proceed. And, and then, ask you to say when i add a picture or something like that you always ask me where did you get the picture mm -hmm. well yeah. so in that case you would say i mean it's it's your brother-in-law so yes. it's a photo yes. that is in your personal collection so you yes. can say photo from my personal collection and that's, that's right that's mm -hmm. right and, and sometimes it when I try to be too short, he says, no, that's, that's uh, too short. Yeah. You have to explain yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have to, you know, photo from my personal collection belonging to me. You have to stretch it. <laughs> yeah. Stretch it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it doesn't accept it. You have to put the sword. Yeah, uh, yeah. Balance. And so now, I mean, living people can be a little tricky because you you might not be able to find uh records for them um yeah but but okay. then it's personal recollection yeah yeah okay yeah. i mean uh I, I will uh okay i think these are the two stumbling blocks i had which i'm glad you gave me the courage to click uh forward. yeah so. what what i would put Bijan, is i would put firsthand knowledge uh -huh. um, Period. Mm. I am his brother-in-law. <laughs> so, yeah. Some of us aren't on speaking terms with our siblings. Right? <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> and I got five of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so shall I... Um... Uh, no, go, this, go ahead and let's... Uh, we want to see you through. Um, go oh. ahead and type that in into the pink yeah. box. Uh, First hand knowledge. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, that's it. First hand knowledge. No. Yeah, why, why don't you add um, pro profile manager is his brother in law? Uh, <laughs> Uh, perfect. Okay. Uh, Proceed. Uh, oh. Yes. Nice. Okay. Then, then I, I usually go through a lot of these. Things. And this is the language, as I said, that you already yeah. know that uh, Persian yes. or Iranian. The language, yeah. Now, I always took that, you know, I, I um, 
I have not had to um, play with that field, but um, I I took that to mean the language spoken by that person, the person's yeah. language. Is it like that? I that's what I thought, mm -hmm. but um, but Murray, you were saying that it had to do with location fields. Well, mm -hmm. yes, in the in the um, in the WikiTree browser extension. So when you're using the WikiTree browser mm -hmm. extension then when you're going to enter a location fields for example if you were to enter the name of a place and uh it, it would offer you the, the 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 language version that you chose mm -hmm. so for example if if you wanted moscow it it would offer you moscow yeah right like uh like like I was doing French and it was doing everything was in uh, the French mm -hmm. uh, like language. So Mo Montreal is an example. So M Montreal in English doesn't have an accent on it. And in French it does. Oh, mm -hmm. true. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's how you got the accent. Okay, thank you, Marie. Oh, nice picture. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, I noticed that you have to come here and do a lot of things, and you have to make sure you do it in state changes. David, very good. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. can, you can always go back and, and um, you know, change things. Um, yeah. And, and how, can I ask uh, one last question? Yes. Uh, how can you see the whole... Uh, family tree not just the i mean when i click here uh, family tree it only shows me but the extended family uh, how do you get that okay click on hide ancestors uh, where up, up on the right side there it says hide ancestors um the green button right there yeah up Oops, there. Too down too down down okay. down down where's your down. where are you on the right hand side. On the right hand side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, there, there you go. Right Click that. Let's get oh. rid of that. Now go oh. into now go into tree apps. See the see across the top there it says uh profile edit tree apps. Tree okay. apps, yes. Click on tree apps. Okay. Okay. Now um under the tree app, uh, uh -huh. it says right now it says couples dynamic tree. So uh -huh. open that up. Open that up. Okay. Hit the drop down here. You have to you have to click on it to open it up. Okay, I, I thought there oh. is a drop down. On the arrow, click on the little downward cursor. Okay. Where the family you see the dynamic tree? You see the little down downward curse downward thing beside where it says ID? There's a little uh, little yeah. pointer down. Right yeah, that, that, yes. yeah, click okay. it. Yeah. Click it. I, I, so it just says. Uh, you have to be, click it. You have to click it. Push it. Just click it. Yeah, click I did, your, with your left I, click. I to select something and uh, descendants. Uh, dynamics. Oh, okay. We're not see, we're not seeing that. Okay. Oh. So uh, pick, right. pick, okay. Fan, okay. pick fan chart for example. So which one I choose uh, from that uh, selection? Pick. Pick fan chart. Fan. Okay. Family calendar. Family fan chart. Okay. Yeah. Fan chart. And click on that, and then and then click go. Yes. Fan chart. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. So that's that's one way. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Now now uh, click on click up there again, and I'll show you another way. Okay. And uh, let me move up. Okay, uh, do a drop down again. Yep, and uh, you're looking for super tree. Super, oh. okay, super tree. Oh, okay. Super. Oh. <laughs> I'm learning. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh, this is I never oh, saw okay. tree. Now, if you uh, oh, just scroll back up just a little bit. Okay, now over uh, on the on the colored bar. On the far right hand side, you'll see a question mark. Uh, yeah, keep going. Yeah. Right there. So that'll that'll take that takes you to the uh, instructions on how to use this. Oh, oh okay. 
liked it. This is okay. very good. Yeah, super. So go go back. Go, go back. back. Yeah, go. Uh, okay. There now. Um, you see the see the thing that looks like a gear. Yes. Uh, click, setup. Click, yeah, click on that. Okay, so now you can set all kinds of things. Oh. Now okay. go ahead and go ahead and close that with the red. Uh, yes. Red X. Now go over. Um, like let's see, scroll up just a little bit more. Scroll up. Yeah. Now where am I? I'm not seeing the. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. There it is. Um, th sorry. Generations. See where it says ancestors two generations and descendants one generation. Uh, ancestors two generation. Yes. Uh, okay. So you can. One generation. Yeah. So you can increase those. Oh, oh. there's a plus beside it, like two generations. Yeah. Mm. Oh. And that's <laughs> higher, higher, it's higher. Really powerful. <laughs> now, yeah. if you could, now, go ahead and click on one per any person in the tree. Any person on the tree? He has a sibling. Just uh, click at <laughs> box. Is that what you mean? Yeah, Mark? click on the box of any person in the tree. Okay, let's go to my father, for example. Sure. This okay, one, now. You see beside his name, uh -huh. right, there's an image of a fan chart. So if you this clicked one. on if you clicked on that, it would jump to the fan chart version of him for him. Him, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Then he would be the center of the yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, now go ahead. Click, click on somebody else. Yeah, it's like uh, his his mom or yeah, yeah. It's. <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, so you oh, can, okay. why are they disappearing? That's, okay, that there you is go. Easy. Okay. Um, so you can also get to a descendants list. That's that's the the yeah. other icon. Um, oh, there is like this also. This is the yeah. descendants yeah. app. Oh, okay. And this, this app is, is much more impressive when you start from you know your eighth great grandfather. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I learned a lot. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so, so there's lots of there's lots of stuff in the tree apps. There's lots of different tools that you can use. Yeah, yeah. Uh this this is so cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. While well, we're cool. here, can I ask a question? Yes. Of course, well. Go ahead. Um there was a chart that you showed, yeah. Betsy at one of the uh, other Zoom meetings that you conduct that showed a chart, a circular chart with everyone that's connected. Oh, the six degrees, yes. Yes. Uh, um, Bijan, I'm gonna take over, oh, is that- Okay, okay? sure, sure, yeah. okay. thank you. Uh, I'm sure, um, okay, so let me, let me see. Okay. Uh, so we're going to come back and look at this. Does everybody see the invitations page? Yes. Uh, yep. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, but so to get to six degrees, you go under apps. This the what what Murray just showed um, is one way to get to some apps. And oops, find it. Why is it? Uh, it should be the rest of it. I want, yeah. Oh, oh, probably because you're not in the sorcerer, you're not in the uh, you're not you in should, no, really. Is it what, what, sorry? What were you looking for? Under find, uh, I was looking for, for all the apps. For apps, and I go under, under find. Apps. yeah, it's it, yeah, uh, web browser extension. Right. Oh, all yeah. right. Hang on. Hang on. I'm <laughs> can't That's live without my, my web browser. Okay, let's do that again. Now you're gonna need to refresh your, your um Yep, yep. Okay. So let me go to to me. Mm. Okay. So fun. there we go. There we okay. go. There so we now go. I see all these possibilities. You know, you can spend days exploring them all. But what Rolf was asking about is called six degrees. And actually, it's a misnomer because at this point, it will take you to seven degrees. 
Um, so you see it's loading. It does take a little bit of time. This is um, an app developed by Greg Clark, who uh, does some wonderful things. Um, you, you do have to go over here and enable it up to seven degrees. Okay, up to set six degrees, now loaded. And oh, it's a very polite app. Thank you for your <laughs> patience. Oops. Oh, yes. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, there. Oh, there's pretty. Very pretty. Mm hmm. Wow. So, um, and you can play with this as well. To uh, let's see. Oh. To do um, like first names. <laughs> Wow. So you have a better sense of who you're who you're looking at. Yeah. Um, wow. Or what uh Mary, I, I usually don't do this. What what are some other uh you know this this one's new to me. I I never use this one. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> no, this this is no. a cool app. I like mm -hmm. this. Thank you. Thank and you. And especially especially because you've got so much of your tree filled in. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Not not everybody would have that whole circle filled right. in. Right. Right. Wow. Um, so what what we do with um uh I, I one of the events I run is uh the We Will Walk You uh challenge, uh where rock is an acronym for random acts of wiki tree kindness. And a team of you know, wiki treeers um works for a month on the CC sevens of five other five other everyday wiki treers and so i will always do a graphic you can you can do um like this is my my current one but if i want to see like what did mine look like a year ago mm -hmm. i could i could do that and do a side by side comparison um wow so does um i should probably explain what the cc7 is um the cc7 is your your close to your close connections within seven degrees. So you to yourself, that's zero. And then you, you to your parents um, would be one, you to your children, one, and so on and so forth. Um, just counting, counting degrees outward. And the thing that's different about um, connection is that it, you can go through marriage. So for instance, it's a good thing I turned my browser on let me, uh, my browser extension, let me go back to my profile. I'm going to scroll down slowly so I don't make anyone dizzy. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, oh, who are you connected to? Ish. Yep, yep. Your so every, every week we have uh, a theme for a connection and okay here we are. so the connection for the this week are people wow. who served as fathers Clara, Clara. so wow. yeah and they you know they you know play with the uh with the uh interpretation you know i uh i i would guess that uh charles darwin is the father of evolution and and so on so it will show you for instance, my closest connection is Charles Darwin. Oh. If I click on that, it's going to tell me, Not bad. here's Charles Darwin, here's me. And when the color changes, it's a marriage. So you could see uh, Hiram Willard to his wife. And then it's it's all blood, 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 and there's another marriage. So, so um, I think uh, I was chatting with Paul before we officially started and uh, asked if you were connected to the big tree. Um, the way you would be able to tell that is if you have this connection list on your profile, because if you're not connected to the big tree, you won't have this yet. Um, now, you can also um, change this to anyone. Murray, what's your... 
What's your ID? Uh, Maloney 2332. Okay, I can I can see how Murray's connected with Charles Darwin. Hmm. And so the three branches, what that means is we've got some blood, that's one, then there's a marriage, here's two, and then there's three. Three, oh. three branches, three connections. What does nine mean? So, so two of yeah. you are related to Charles Darwin? Is that what this means? Well, no. No, it means that we found a, we found a series of connections that allow us to um, to draw a line between us. But as you can see from the color coding, there are there are three people who are related. That's the first three: Charles, his father, and uh, and and his father's sister. Then we have another nine people in an entirely different branch that are connected by blood, and then we have seven people in an entirely different branch mm. that are connected by blood, and the uh, and the connections are th through marriage. Yeah. Right. So right. there's no blood relation between me and Charles Darwin. Mm -hmm. But there's some there's some connection, if not by law, right? By marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Th yeah there, there's a there, there's this marital relationship that allows us to to say that we're connected, but you know there's no blood. And <laughs> and the cool thing about the browser extension is now if I click on Charles Darwin, now. See, I am connected. I it's it's very very distant, but we are according to the genealogy as it's been entered on WikiTree. He is my ninth cousin, eight times removed. Nice. And that, but you better got, than nothing. You've yeah. got more connections to Charles Darwin. <laughs> uh, I was at seventeen, and you were. I I can't remember. 17. You can also get there by under the person's uh, profile ID, just do connection to me. And you were three, nine, and seven, right? Yeah. 12, yeah. We were pretty, pretty similar. Two, 10, six. 19, and I'm 18, so. Wow. That's a good one. Yeah. I like those. Yeah, so some, some fun things that you can do. Um, now, am I correct? Um, I know Paul is very new. Is there anyone else who's very new? Yes, yeah, me. Yes, Paul. Oh, wait, who said me? Rolf? Yes. And Pamela's waving her hand. Okay, and right. Pamela. Um, I, I'd really like to give you guys a chance to ask your questions. So, who wants to go first? Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll yield to the lady who had her hand up. Okay. All right, Pamela, go ahead. Well, uh, you got a couple of years? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, I, uh, I found WikiTree maybe a couple of years ago, but my genealogy has been here and there and you know just how, you know how you go but i'm in, i'm in a, a facebook group um it's heritage seekers of arkansas oh. and um they do a zoom twice a month on monday nights every other monday night mm -hmm. and they have phenomenal speakers on there uh, it, it amazes me the people that they are able to and it's not a very big group i think this last time they had 30 people attend the zoom this last monday night and the lady did a thing on Excel. I, it was way over my head. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, uh, the thing I wanted to mention is that is those some of those ladies that run that were the ones that made me consider maybe I needed to look into WikiTree more because they said it was such a phenomenal program. Yeah. And so yesterday, I had dabbled just a little bit. I'd click on a couple things if I saw the word Arkansas or something like that, but I haven't did it, designated any real time to it. I didn't even know, like I put in the chat until yesterday, that my I have a tree on there. I didn't even know we keep had a tree. And I didn't. I hadn't even put that together. <laughs> you know. Well, it, I mean, you, and you could have family members whose profiles were entered by your cousins. Maybe I didn't know any cousins were doing my tree. That would be, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I stumble across 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 things on Family Search. 
and right. sometimes ancestry and some of the other things that are out there. I, th I think what I've done is I've, I've thinned myself out in too many directions with too many programs and yeah. you have, you know, to keep all those filled in and updated. Yeah. Probably not very bright, but well, um, yeah. I mean, the thing about Wiki Tree, find more connections. Uh, I'm sorry, say again, just hoping to find more connections. Yeah. yeah. Could, could we look at your, your profile and your tree? Or I uh, tell me how to do it. There's not yeah, much. Well, can you put your, your profile ID in the chat? I don't know how to find that. Okay. Okay. No problem. Hang on. Um, so, I have laptop, my large desktop and then my laptop and I, you go back and forth, but I'm traveling. I'm in an RV. So I only have my laptop. Okay. So, that's fine. Uh, I'm okay. on a laptop as well. So are you on WikiTree right now? Uh, well, uh, you mean, do I have it open? Yep. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. Or, or we can search for you. Um, oh. Pamela, um, what is your maiden name? Because it would be under W-I-T-T. -T. Okay. It is, uh, Wit 2970. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, let me show how to do this anyway, Marie. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, I just searched for you. You see, we get, uh, 119 matches. Now I can make it only active members which thins it down okay that's that's a manageable size and okay. and is that i see my name okay where which is it this one the mm -hmm. yeah that's me right there okay all right there you are I'm gray <laughs> <laughs> i'm gray now but that's an old picture but yeah <laughs> all right so um you know, we can look at now. I want to show everybody in case you don't know about your watch list. So under my wiki tree, um, you can go to now. I'm not going to be able to do it for you because I'm logged in as me. But if you do this from your computer on your profile to watch list, it's going to show you all the profiles that you have created or are on the trusted list for it. Okay. So if, if people not. want, people have want to try that, for instance, I'll show you what it looks like from me. Um, watch list. And the cool thing about it, I have 455 profiles, Wow. Um, <laughs> which is, which is actually a modest amount, believe it or not. Um, and I can sort it alphabetically. I can sort it by birth, uh, ID. This is very helpful by edit date. If I want to see, well, what what was that? Uh, that what is a profile that I haven't touched in in uh, in years? I can look at it that way. Um, so it's um, some really some nice capabilities. And then of course you can go straight from here. Um, the, again, the fact, well, the fact that you get this little pop up. That's nothing to do with the browser extension. You can enable that within your settings. And that's that's really very helpful um, to be able to, uh, instead of having to click over to see, um, for instance, are, are people seeing my, my pop-up? Mm -hmm. yes. Good, okay. D uh, Dina Ely Baker, oh, she's managed by me. And I see her, you know, I can remind myself of her birth and death years and her, her parents. So that's that's very handy. So when you mention browser extension, can yeah. you explain what that is? I heard you mention it earlier. Sure. Yes. Um, so the browser extension. Do you see on my my screen? I have this little orange circle here. Mm -hmm. That's that's a WikiTree browser extension. Um, we had put in the. Uh, the help page for it earlier, but you might have been before you came in. Yeah, I'd forgotten. So. <laughs> yeah, Mur late. Murray's going to put it in again. Thank you, Murray. Um, and it is, uh, let me go there myself. Wiki tree browser extension. Okay, so that Murray's putting the, the link for this page in the chat. And okay. it is, um, 
it's just a very powerful um, extension to your browser that amps up your WikiTree experience. So oh, um, you can configure, I, I hope you could see this, but if I click on that button, do you see uh, mm -hmm. that I got a new box? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I can- no, I they're just talking now. Change my access keys. Um, I can I can put it in dark mode. I can I mean you can really per customize it to okay. you know how you want want it to look. Um, okay. Yeah. So some, some very very powerful tools. I'm gonna grab that address there. Mm -hmm. It'll let me. Oh, There's also a, a YouTube video going through each of the different items on the extension. Oh, yeah. Those are great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, those are very good. There's a couple of them that are, are like that. So if you're not already subscribed to Wikitree's YouTube channel, uh, I can't recommend it enough. Um, there's usually uh, at least a, a video a day, if not more. <laughs> uh, some of them are related to the challenges. Some of them are instructional. We are at at Wikitreers. That's how you found, find us. And um, I would recommend that you go to the playlists um, because the playlists are where you can find, you, know, you can d dive deep into some instructional videos. These Wikitree tours are great. Um, all of our, um, let's see, our- Go more. Go more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, new member Q and A's, yeah. all of these sessions that get recorded. If you wanna go back and browse the archives, you can do that. Um, there's just, there's so much. <laughs> just turn them on while you're doing the dishes or taking a walk and yeah and then i guess the other thing we should tell you all about if you don't know is that there's a there's a there's a program that you can use called discord where wikitree has all kinds of activities going on there's people talking about all kinds of stuff on discord and so it's just, just another channel that you can just be communicating with people um and yeah you, you pick up things and people are talking about this and that and there some of the projects have uh yeah, special channels within discord so that you can follow along with the project etc right discord jerry. is a, a free yes jerry go ahead i just was gonna say i'm having trouble getting on discord and i see that a lot of other people are having trouble too so ah okay it is a little tricky to get on yeah. So if you want to send me a message uh, later, I can help you with that. Really? I'd love that. Thank well, you. Yeah, I can, I, can, I can get you to the right person to help you with that. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and there's a, there's a help page for Discord. Um, Discord, by the way, is, let's see, Discord. Oh, oh Discord. Discord, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a live chat platform that was originally uh, used by gamers, um, and so you know you can ask your your favorite uh, teenager to help you with Discord. He's way up north. Both of them are way up north. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the help page for Discord. Um, is it in the chat or i i just put the help page in the chat thank you very much yeah, yeah you're welcome um so we were uh coming up on one hour who uh mm -hmm. what what last questions do we have um i think there was there was somebody else who was a rolf. new call rolf. rolf had other questions rolf okay rolf what questions can we no no the only question i had was the one about the cc7 Oh, the six degree app. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Okay, but you're good now. You you. you I'm know. good now. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. Great. Now, now something 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 I should mention about the CC seven. So so, 
you know, you have that thing on the top of your page and it tells you how many connections you have and you can check on your CC7. And for the longest time, you know, I kept thinking that CC7 was going up, you know, it was, it was moving up my tree, right? Instead of, and then I realized, no, 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 my cousins are there too, right? So my, my first cousin means that I go up to my grandfather and then back down to my cousin. Right. So I count one, two to my grandfather and I count one, two down to my cousin. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's, so that's a four degree separation to my cousins. So, so you, you build out your CC seven by not only building up, but by building out, by making sure that all of your uncles and aunts children are listed and all of their children are listed and you, you, you try and build up the tree. So it's got as many people as, as you can. So your CC seven grows. Right, it's one right. of the games that you play on on WikiTree is is getting your CC seven to grow. And I know a lot of people uh, really focus on their direct lines of of uh, ancestry, uh, but but in order to have fun with the CC seven, you want to add the siblings and the cousins, and um, you know it, it will it will enrich things. The the spouses, your your aunts and uncles by marriage. Well, and it's also for for if you're doing any DNA work. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to find your DNA matches, then you, you're going to need to involve your cousins, right? True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't somebody have a DNA question earlier? Um, yes. Yes, John, was that you? No. Uh, someone wanted to upload their DNA from, from family search. Um, well, you... You can't. So, so they don't keep DNA on Family Search. They keep trees, right? right. Um, so I think somebody did ask about how do I get my tree from Family Search onto onto WikiTree, and the answer is you do it one at a time. Yeah. Um, now the thing is that a lot of the a lot of the same people that are on Family Search are already on WikiTree. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So as you're building your tree up, you know when you get to your great great grandparents or your great great grandparents whatever you may find that they're already on WikiTree, right so um yeah if you've if you've done a lot of work on on uh, family search and your your whole uh, family is is in there and now you're trying to bring it over to WikiTree, you're just gonna have to plug away i think i think that's <laughs> and, uh, and that's what uh, i'm sorry say again yeah this is bijan yeah. Um, re regarding the DNA, the reason that I came to WikiTree was because I was on 23andMe. Yes. And through that one, it suggested that uh, go to WikiTree to set up your family tree. Oh. So is there a way that I could connect uh, my 23andMe to the WikiTree? Yes. There is. Oh. Murray, you want to explain while I pull up help pages? Okay, uh, give me a moment. Um, got to get to my the home screen. That does show the DNA, uh, sir. Yep. Give me a sec. And where are you? It looks like it. Sorry. That's how. Uh, where's the page I'm looking for? Which I, I was going to put the uh, test connections page up. No, that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to go. Okay. So um, from your home page. Yes. See, see what I've got here? Add DNA test information? Yes, yes. Okay, so now I would click on that. So this is mine. And so I'm going to skip over a lot. And I'm going to, now I want to add a test, okay? This is what you'll be faced with. You won't have any already in there. So you'll just get an add a test. So I say, okay, I want to add a test. And right, the first one on the list is 23andMe. Uh -huh. So now it's, now it's going to ask you to answer some questions. Uh, uh Hold on, I clicked on 23andMe, uh, edit, enter more detail. I guess they want to <laughs> uh, test. Okay, I, I don't know. 
hook everybody up. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so so when you get to when you when you say add test twenty three and me, then you're going to get it's going to ask you uh, to put in your information about your your haplogroups mm -hmm. because it gives you that information, and then it's also going to ask you if you've got um, a a, G, a GED match ID. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now, if you don't know what that is, let me explain that for uh, in a moment. Um, so there's a, there's another um, company out there. Well, it's, yeah, it is a company called Jedmatch, and yeah. Jedmatch is a place where no matter where you got your DNA done, you can upload it there. And the reason you'd want to do that is if you wanted to get really get involved in doing DNA matching, and doing DNA triangulation, and trying to prove relationships. Um, now, in order to do that, you'd need you need uh, lots of DNA matches and you need cooperation of other people who are doing their DNA. But, but if you want to do that, then I, I highly recommend uploading your autosomal DNA into GED match and getting an ID there. And then you, you'd enter that there. And then basically you say add test. And then, uh, and then what would happen is your DNA test will appear. Let me show you. So you can see it right here. I've got, there's my DNA test. Mm -hmm. And I've got listed the different places where where I have my DNA test. So I've got it at GED match. I've got it at Family Tree DNA. Um, and I've got it at Ancestry. Oh, and I, I don't think I have my oh. heritage in there. Uh, but anyway, so so this, this tells Wikitree that you do have a DNA test somewhere. And then not only that, not only does it appear here on this page, but if I move now to my father's page, you'll see that my DNA test information is on his page as well. Now, what this is going to tell anybody that looks at my father's page is that Marie Maloney has a 50% likelihood of up to 50% of shared DNA. Okay. Now, if I move up to his father, it now shows that there's a likelihood of up to 25% of shared DNA. Now, see, um, if you look down here, now you'll see that there's somebody else on this list, Janice Knight. She's one of my cousins. So is Kathy, and so is Belinda. See, so these are all cousins of mine, people that I actually know. I've never met Marcel Dumas, uh, but he's obviously somehow connected to all of us, too. And that's so that's how this... DNA information sort of propagates through uh, Wikitree, and and so that other people in in depending on where you're looking on on uh, Wikitree, you'll be able to see that there are other people who have DNA connections to you. Um, this is particularly useful, by the way, for people who have um, who've done uh, who are thinking about doing a Y DNA or MT DNA test, because they can see whether somebody else has already done one. Because you know, if you're the pers first person in your family to do a Y-DNA or MT-DNA test, you're spending some money, and you're probably not going to get any matches. And you're just setting it up so that someday in the future, somebody else is going to get there, right? Which is a nice thing to do, but sometimes doesn't all always feel all that rewarding. So it's nice when you look on your tree and you see that, well, somebody else is already there. Now, if I do mine, I'm just going to match with that. Or at least I hope I will. In order to get answers to those initial questions, uh, if I go to 23andMe, will I see the answers to those questions? I could do a cut and paste. Well, I, I believe so. So I don't I don't have an account on 23andMe. I do have accounts on all those other places, and um, uh, uh, Ancestry does not give you haplogroups. Um, family tree is now uh, has started to give out um, Y DNA haplogroups, even if you've only done um, a, an autosomal DNA test. Of course, if you've done a Y DNA test, then it does give you a haplogroup. But my understanding is that um, the 23andMe gives out both. Even for even if you've only done a, an autosomal DNA test, it does yeah, give you that it's information. Very comprehensive, you know. You, you you just open up the globe map and and it shows you all your family on all over the world. Wonderful. Well, um, we will be back with another session just like this one, um, Sunday, June twenty third, at eleven 
uh, 11 in the morning Eastern time. And everybody is welcome to come back. You can come uh, as often. You can be a frequent flyer with us. <laughs> <laughs> we love to see familiar faces and uh, bring more questions. And um, and we'll keep talking and, and getting everybody up and running. Um, and I will also put in the chat, this is my profile ID, CO31. And uh, you're very welcome to uh, to to go to my profile and send me a private message or leave a comment on my page and say, oh, I have a question. There's Murray, Murray's profile ID. Thanks, Murray. Um, so we're we're here <laughs> to answer uh, and help you along. Thank you. Of course. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna st I'm gonna uh, stop the uh, the recording, and uh, so give me one second. Thank you to everyone who is watching. Um, Thank you. Uh, remotely afterwards.